I'm not sure if we will ever get a Gundam Battle Operation 3. Online free-to-play games can, in theory, keep going so long as they have the support and money to keep the lights on. A big concern for me would be knowing if I'll be keeping all of my mobile suits or would I need to unlock them again through supply drops and through the data point store. In the case that there is to be a Gundam Battle Operation 3, however, here are some things that I think would help. Number 1. Have a better hub world. Instead of putting us in some military base, put us on board something like the Albion or the Arkema. This can help a lot more with the immersion. To add to this, instead of constantly showing some Medea or Gao carrier fly over the base repeatedly, how about have various mobile suits launched from the catapult that we can see through the window? Admittedly, this is more of a visual aesthetic request that doesn't exactly impact gameplay, but I figure it might be nice to have. The current hub world doesn't exactly look all that appealing. There are also parts on the map that almost no one goes to and serve no purpose. A warship or space station can help get rid of some of that clutter. Number 2. Improve infantry movement and customization options While infantry combat in the game is mostly limited to planting bombs and capturing waypoints, the animation of the soldiers can still be improved to give a better overall experience. We're not asking for some great third-person shooter mechanics, just something that feels better than what we have now, maybe even add a cover system. It won't add much protection against mobile suits, but at least it can make infantry combat a little more engaging. As for the customization options, we're not asking for something on the level of Code Bane's character creator, but something in that direction would be nice. At the very least, give us more options than what we have now. We understand that the game is more heavily focused on the mobile suits, but it would be nice if we could make the characters look similar to the anime ones. And try finding a way to give our infantry characters more to do in the hub world. Again, this is more of a cosmetic thing to wish for, but hey, that's why it's low on the list. We still have more to go here. Number 3. Let us change the camera angle. I've said this before in an older video, but I'll say it again. Allow us to change the camera angle from right to left and vice versa. I know some might argue that we should also be allowed to pull the camera further back, which I suppose would be nice as well. But I would argue that everyone having a blind sight isn't exactly a bad thing. To me, it adds to the immersion knowing that there's a level of danger I can't see if I let my guard down. But that could just be me. Either way, at the very least, allow us to pick which shoulder we want the camera on. Number 4. Nerf the heavy melees of the raids. Look, let's be real. The average amount of time it takes to charge a heavy melee attack takes about 2.5 seconds, and it cools down in almost that same amount of time. And some raids can charge the heavy attacks in even less time than that. At the very least, a heavy melee attack should take some 5 to 6 seconds to cool down. But to be even more real, I would argue that it should take even longer than that. And it should also overheat the thrusters every time. Attacks like these should always come with a double-edged sword. By comparison, the equivalent to a heavy melee attack that some supports have are the Mega Beam Cannons, like the Foz. But that thing takes well over 10 seconds, and we can't move while charging it. And even if we get to fire that thing, it will take a much longer time for it to cool down. I'm not complaining that it takes so long. I'm just saying that the heavy melee should also take an equal amount of time to cool down as well. Number 5. Improve the battle simulator with custom settings. I know I've said this before, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Improve on what we have in the battle simulator. The potential is right there. It only needs a little more and it will be just as popular as a competitive multiplayer. Journey to Jaburo is almost a 25 year old game at this point, and it had something similar to the battle simulator, only I would argue that it was better back then, because there were objectives and most of the areas on the maps were used. Whereas in the battle simulator, only a portion of the maps are ever used, and there are no real objectives aside from having to take out the targets. If the battle simulator offered more variety, that would allow for a better experience. And this is also something that I keep saying, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Allow us to create our own custom scenarios for Battle Simulator, custom versus as well, but I already talked about that in an older video. In the case of the Battle Simulator, allow us to create our own missions, such as how many waves of enemies we wanna face, which enemies we wanna fight, along with other objectives, such as protecting or destroying a base. All this with co-op will help create a much better community. And the final thing I'll add is to allow us to share our custom battle simulator missions with other players. Number 6. Please have dedicated servers this time around. No more of this peer-to-peer -peer connection. This way, players can join mid-fight after someone disconnects or is kicked for griefing their teammates, or just rage quits. That's really it for this one. Not sure what else to add. I mean, we've all thought about it at one point or another. Number 7.
Stealth. Get rid of it. Enough said. Okay, fine. Let me explain. Since these are all Universal Century mobile suits, with some exceptions, that means that they all have Minoski particles. What do Minoski particles do? They interfere with radio waves and radar. This is why long-range guided missiles aren't really used in the anime. It's also partly why in O8 MS team they use a hovercraft to search for enemy suits. This means that technically every suit, raid, general, and support all have stealth or some type of radar jammer. At the very least, a better way to use stealth is to make it similar to World of Tanks. In World of Tanks, the enemy does not appear on your radar until you or an ally spots them. If you're the only one on your team in a certain area of the map, if you get taken out, then the enemies in that area of the map will disappear from your teammates' radar, because there won't be anyone to relay that information to the rest of the team. Thus, everyone has stealth, and at the same time, no one has stealth. The only downside to this idea is that it will pretty much kill off the fake beacon skill. So that skill will need some kind of rework, or at most, get removed as well. And number 8. Get rid of the current simple chat options and replace them with the command wheel instead. This is common in other games. It makes it easier to select what you want to communicate with your teammates, and it's easier to see. Also, make the notifications more noticeable. A big reason why it feels like sometimes teammates don't notice a support's call for help is because the notification is too small, and it appears in the lower left hand side of the screen. Along with the command wheel also give us the ability to point out enemy units. As it stands right now in GPL2, we only have two limited options. The first is by going into our simple chat options and selecting something that either says stealth unit spotted or disguised unit spotted. And the other option is limited by only select few mobile suits that have the ability to spot an enemy and relay that information to the rest of the team. This can be replaced by simply allowing us to point at an enemy and it will relay that information to the rest of the team. World of Tanks, which is also free to play and is actually older than GPL2, has this feature, as do other games. A most recent example being Helldivers 2. These are just some of my ideas of things I think would help make a possible sequel far better than the current state of GPL2. One quick honorary mention is to add 800 cost matches, because I personally believe that some of the suits in 700 really should be in a higher cost. That's really all I have to say. This wasn't exactly a GPL2 video, more of a speculative GPL3 video. Anyway, that's it for me. See you next time. Somehow I woke up out in Beverly Fucked up smelling like that bourbon And I end up alone I'm not certain Yeah, the girls and polite in the club every night That's how it goes when you Hollywood perfect